Good morning, everyone. It's Rachel here. I'm not sitting down yet. Um, right, so I'm going to do my video today. Um, first of all, I'll just show you what else I made yesterday. I went ahead and made a bit more because I just love these papers. Um, and I haven't done my um, Etsy update video yet, but I'll do that just to show you all the papers. But I made some more journaling um, pages. So um, just did some collage there and there. And on this one, I put a little belly band on the back and that was just a strip of paper that I had left over that was already collaged one of my collage pages and I just added a few little bits to coordinate it into the journal page and then um, this is another one I did I had the doily flipping out the side hopefully um, it'll be fit into the journal if not I'll use it for something else so another interesting thing you could do here is you could stitch that down there and then you could have a tuck as well and then that's the back use that from dreams etc and then this one with this cute girl and a bit of florentine paper and i folded this one that way and i love how this one turned out i did a little bit of collage here and then i i had a strip of this paper left and i just ma i just reinforced it because it's on regular copy paper and i've made a tuck there so i thought that's fun and then this one i put santa um, he's from my fussy cutting kit, I think, um, with some paper behind. That's from Dreams, etc. And now again, this one I flipped out that way as well and did a little bit of collage. And then with the same paper, I put in another side tuck, which I thought was fun. Super easy. Um, oh, I just backed that with some paper. That's going to, I'll put some lace or something at the top and that's going to be a journaling card. Um, and then, um, and then this is another one. Like, oh, isn't that lovely? I just love that. And flips out that way. And I put a pocket on the back with um, that's from Dreams, etc. as well. So I thought that's super cute. And I need to do some more. But um, yeah, it's a good start. And everything that I'm making, I'm putting into this here. So that way I don't lose them. I've got my collage pages. It's starting to get a bit of stuff, but not enough. So I put those in the pocket, um, in the envelope thing, and then... Um, I'll be able to sort it all out sort of thing so today I said we were going to make these cute little envelopes I thought about pulling it apart but what I did was just kind of measure it so I just did it now with a piece of um, scrap white paper and so I did I if you want the exact measurement of the envelope I'll tell you so this it's you need to cut a rectangle so this is what I started with a rectangle um, and it's 13 centimeters high. I don't normally give measurements, but if you want this, I need to give you the measurements. And five, 5.2 inches high. Um, so 13, 13 centimeters high and 5.2 centimeters high. You can write all of this down. And then um, 4.7 inches wide. So nearly four and three quarters. And then... Uh, 12 inches wide so that's what I've cut here okay um, for this part here the flap up it's folded up 4.5 centimeters which is one and three quarter inches and then it's folded down three centimeters here and um, about about one inch down and then I just folded it in about a centimeter yep about a centimeter about half an inch okay so that's how you do it but you can eyeball it but it's just if you want to get this exact size i don't normally measure these things i normally do them like that and then if you wanted to make it out of a piece of um paper and then out of a piece of cardstock then you'd have a template if you're not um confident doing it without okay so then i got my um i prepared a few rectangles here i've done one in in the um, tracing paper I've got one in the Florentine paper one in my new of my new papers and then one here with some Florentine paper so I get maybe we'll start with this one and I might just fold do them all straight away um, now you have to decide I think that's right yes that's going to work so you have to if you've got writing like this one has writing you need to sort of see um, and I'll just vaguely measure it come up a bit more um, you need to um, see which way your writing is going and I like the fact that this has been um, you know double-sided printing so that way when you open the envelope it's not white 
And then this just folds down, just a covering, just going over. What did I say? Three centimetres. That'll do. It's a bit less, but it doesn't matter. And that's like that. So do you fold up and you fold down. Okay. Then you do about, I just eyeball it, line it up about one centimetre down there. And about one centimetre across here. And I'll do it four times because I've got four pieces of paper I want to work with. Um, so that's that. So that's the bottom. The longer bit is the bottom. And then that's the flap. And you've already got your the size. It's more or less the same size. A little bit. I folded it up a bit higher, I think. But it doesn't matter. Okay, so then you open it out. And what you want to cut off is you want to keep that. They're your two side flaps here. These two side flaps. These. But you don't want that bit there and you don't want this bit this bit here so we've got to cut those off so what I do is and you've seen me do it I did it the other day um, is you just I'm, I'm going to cut straight down the crease here but when I come down to where the, the creases meet I'm just going to do it at a slight angle I'm not, actually I'm going to do that straight across there no uh, no that's the bottom so I'm going to do it at a slight angle sorry um, so we'll do that at a slight angle here and then just go up across the crease. There's one extra step in this that I don't normally do um, that we're going to do today. So that's that. And then here I'm actually going to go uh, straight down the crease, more or less. And I'm going to go straight across the crease because I'll show you. Oh, there's actually two steps that I don't normally do. And here I'm going to go straight down the crease if I can see it. And then straight across the crease there. Okay, so now we've got our kind of envelopey shape. Now, what we do is, first of all, if you notice, these are both rounded, and they would have had a you know a cutting machine, and this is nicely rounded like that, and it's at an angle. I don't know if you can see that. You can probably see it better here. See, it's at an angle, and they're at a lovely angle as well. And I wanted them to be the same. So what I did was, first of all, I did the top. So that I line it all up, line your creases up a little bit, hold it there. Don't don't do any creasing down the centre or anything like that. And then you just um, cut it and round it as you're cutting and keep it at a slight angle. And then you'll get both sides the same. But I'm also going to do the same here. So I'm going to cut this at a slight angle and round it. That's the top where the flap is. So that's this bit here. This bit and this bit we've done, okay? Then the next job is to do it also for your bottom flap. This is the bottom flap. That's what I'm calling the bottom flap, this bit here. And you want that to be the same. So I have to hold it this way so it's easier for me. And I'm going to round it and cut it at a slight angle. And I'm going to hold them together so they're both the same or same-ish. And so there you have it. That's the shape you're going to get. I didn't have to worry about down here because you're not going to be able to see that. This is going to be glued in and up like so and there you've got a super cute little envelope to tuck somewhere i think that's cute and you can put little bits of ephemera or cards or visiting card or something like that in there so we'll do this one we'll do them all and then we'll i'm just going to eyeball it i'm not going to do them all exactly the same i'm just going to eyeball it you know me i don't like measuring so we'll just eyeball it i know my pattern's going sideways here doesn't bother me all pretty in the end so done my top fold and I do my side folds about one centimeter in and here one centimeter in this will not be the epic video that was yesterday I got totally lost track of time totally so this is the bottom flap I'm going straight down the crease and just at a slight angle here and I'm going to do the same on this side because I'm, I don't have to worry about those because you won't be able to see them. And just glue it down there. And then here I'm going to go straight across the crease. You're going to see this four times, guys. Maybe five times. Like this. And then like this. So you only need the measurements if you want to make the little ones like that size. So then I need to hold these together. Now, always thinking about where's which is my top and which is my bottom. I'll just turn it around because it's that for some reason that angle is easier for me. 
and I just start here at an angle and I just round it as I go and cut it at a slight angle and I'll do this bit here and I'll try and start in the corner if I can. Oh, I nearly poked my face with the scissors. That'd be clever, wouldn't it? Now, for some reason, I think this paper is more rigid, so I'm going to round it and come down like that. A bit bodgy, that one. And then here, I'm going to line this one up and do the same thing. And there we have our envelope. So that folds in, that folds up, and that's like that. Cute, really, really, really cute. So that's that one. So you can mass make these guys, mass making. So do all the steps. This is another piece of um, Christmas paper. So I want that to be like that. So that's my bottom bit. That can go there. And then I may not have folded it enough that just meet there like that. Cute. And then fold it over one centimetre that way. I've done a bit less. And then one centimetre over this way. Do my snipping. So again here I'm going to go straight down there. That's the bottom. And at an, I'm just going to say it every time at an angle there. And here I'll just start at an angle and then across the bottom. And then here I'm just going to go straight because this is the flap. There and there. Then we hold it all together. I like making these things, did you notice? That goes around there and this has to be rounded like that. Oh, that one went well. It's easier than the other one. And then I have to do the bottom flap, just make sure it's kind of lined up. And at an angle right to your, where your crease is. There. Okay, so there's another one. And I don't mind about these um, Florentine papers I bought in Florence because they're like I don't mind seeing inside because they're like an off-white. They're not stark white and it's a nice texture for the paper. Now we've got our um, tracing paper. So we just do the same thing. And then fold down our flap. So I'm, I'm just making up the measurements now, guys. I'm not even just eyeballing it. As you know, I don't like measuring. Put that one there. Put that one there. Okay, then we've got that. This is the top, so this just goes straight across and straight up on the crease. And here I was, um, I just checked, I've got, there's a little bit of script. I can cut this at an angle here at the bottom and then down the crease. Um, it's got some script, so I just made sure the script was going the right way. You probably wouldn't notice it as much on the um, vellum um, because you can hardly see it. And then we need to go here and do our edges. So we go around here like so and then here the same. Flip it. I have to flip it around because it's easier for me to come at it from that angle. Hold those together. So yesterday um, in my video, I did write in the description box the weight from memory of um, the tracing paper that I used. It's quite a light tracing paper, 55 GSM, I think it was, if I remember correctly. I could be remembering wrong, but I think that's what it was. Okay, so hold that in. 
And if you use super cute papers too, you don't even need to um, really decorate them. And that goes there. We'll glue them down in a minute. Now, I wanted to show you how easy it is to adapt this to another piece of paper. So um, this is bigger. This was just a leftover piece of paper. It's the whole height of the um, A4 piece and I just trimmed it off. I'll tell you what it is. It's 14 centimetres wide. Um, five and a half inches or 5.6 inches, eight inches tall and about nearly 20 and a half. And I'm just going to make another envelope and it's just easy. You just so I'm just going to fold it up to get the same sort of feel. It's folded up a bit less than half, this one. Um, I noticed in the, oh, that's the wrong way. So there we go. I'll start here. Fold it up a bit less than half, which would be about here. And then just fold your flap down to meet it. So the flap is probably folded down a little more than half what that is. And it's only just meeting there. Okay, I probably could have folded this up a bit higher. Yes, I could have. I think I will. I'll fold it up a bit higher. So is that... Yes, it's folded up. It's going over half, this one. Yes, I think that's better. Okay. So you just wing it. I'm not concerned about that crease. I might put something on there. Still fold it in only one centimetre. If you want it narrower, you can fold it in a, a centimetre and a half. Or you could fold this one in a bit more and then trim a bit off. Probably better if you've got the same amount on each, each side so you don't have to mess about with it too much. So at the top, same deal. We're going to go across the creases, cut across there and up there on the crease. And here, this is a great mass making thing to do. And then here we're gonna go, it's the bottom, so we're gonna go at an angle there because you're not gonna see that. I always talk to myself, so I remember because if I don't talk to myself, I might get distracted by something else and um, snip the wrong thing in the wrong way, which is not the end of the world. Just chuck it aside and use it for collaging. I mean, this is only a printed thing. I'd be more upset if I wasted um, a purchased, you know, like something that I didn't print out. I don't know if that made sense. So this is the bottom. So I'm starting here with the bottom. And I'm going to start here and go around. Whoopsie. And then here I need to flip it over. And I can do this bit. This is my flap. So it's pretty much top and bottom are similar. And then you just do this one in a similar fashion as well. Oops, that went really a bit wonky. See, I do wonky things too. And I don't like that little pointy bit there, so I'll snip that off. There we go. So, of course, you could leave this open and it could be a journaling spot. Or you fold it in. Like it could be a pretend ember. Isn't that a wonderful size? I love that size. Yes, that's a great size. And if you wanted, I mean, you don't have to have that side. I mean, on that side, it's upside down. You're never going to get it. But I like this side where it opens. So, I mean, I could put that down on a page and it can be a tuck behind and then you open it. And you could even make it a tuck. I think we've done this before. You can make it a, a, you know, glue it down on three sides so it's a tuck, but then it's a pretend envelope. You can still slip things in there, but then you open it out and it's also a journaling spot. That's fun as well. So I have to remember that. So I'm going to glue these down. So what am I going? How am I going to approach the gluing? How is the gluing going to happen? So with this one, I'm going to get this glue, and what I'm going to do is just put some glue down here, and I might just put a tiny bit there just to make sure I don't have any catchy sort of bits here and here. I'm not sure it doesn't go quite, or see, don't you don't want to go right up because it doesn't go right up. It's not a right up envelope. Okay. And that's, we'll let that dry. Look at that. Easy peasy. I think that's beautiful. I like that. Okay, so put that aside. Now let's do these. This paper, yep, all of these paper ones I'm going to do 
um, let's see where, yep, so I better put my glue on here. Just a little bit there. It doesn't go right up this one, so you've got to be careful where you put your glue. Let's see. I can always slip a bit more glue in somewhere. No, that's good. Wipe off any excess. That one just made it. They are so cute. And that can just be like that. And that will just tuck in somewhere. Okay, and then we'll do this one. This one was done a bit, a little bit better. Put a little bit of glue here. So I'm only going about halfway up my flap there because it doesn't, as I keep saying, it doesn't go right up. And I'm not turning the corner there because I, I don't want to hit anywhere along here where it will glue it shut. And just sort of make sure you flatten it all out so it's because otherwise it's going to be puffy. So I'm gluing all of these ones down, but as I said, you don't have to. They can be tricky. Cute. Okay, this one. That one goes up to about there. So I can put some glue here and here and then here. So it's a good thing if you have a glue that has a small little nozzle. Um, it's not going to um, put too much glue everywhere because you don't want to glue it shut. Cute. And then here, this one, I don't think I'm going to use the wet glue because it'll crinkle. I'm just going to use my glue stick. In which case I need to go here. I'll just put a little bit on, on this part here. There we go. And then I'm um, with this one because you can't control where your glue stick goes. You see, I just want to make sure with my metal ruler that it slides under and nothing's sticking down. How cute is that? Like that. Very, very cute. Okay, so we've made all these envelopes now. Um, maybe I'll, if I'm if I'm a good girl, I'll write down the measurements. I'll keep that. I'll write the measurements down um, in the description box. How cute are they? This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now we need some little things to go in them. I mean, look, you can just put a little Santa in there. And in goes the little Santa. See? And you could, now I did have those somewhere. Where did I see those? Um, I had some Moscow Geographic Land circles. And let me just find them. They're in here somewhere. Here they are. Now, I don't think... Oh, that one doesn't... Where's my big one? Oh, I've got a big circle cutter somewhere. I don't have it here. Oh, dear. I'll have to do some very bad cutting. I don't know where my big circle cutter is. I'll have to find it. I've got my tab ones over there. That's not it. Okay, so, for example, I had the cutter that cuts these out. This is These are a little bit big, I think, these, these circles. I think I would prefer a circle that big. I wonder if I could... No, that's not going to work. Anyway, we'll just go with this one for the minute. You don't have to have circles. You could have squares or rectangles. bad there we go that'll do so you could oh isn't that cute though that's what I'm going to do I'm going to glue this put some glue on maybe not not quite halfway just the bottom third shall we say put some glue on there 
Now, I just keep that shut just so I can measure where it goes, but I kind of want to line it up on the bottom. There. I probably should have um, put something in hindsight on the back of this because you'll be able to see that it's white but anyway we'll get over it and that just flips up so that will hold it shut we need to let that dry that's what we need to do so I'll put the punch on that there you go you can dry over there talk to the paper talk to the paper it's very important to talk to your paper makes the paper happy okay so what will we put on here? We'll do another circle. Maybe not that circle. I had another circle. Well, just a minute. Let me just see. No, no, change my mind. Just a minute. We'll get there in the end. Now, there were some of these dreams etc things that had smaller bits but there's no small bits on that one let's move you out of the way so many things printed out honestly I need to use it all no they're all a bit modern circles here. Oh, what are those? Where did they come from? Everything else is too big. too big so I've got these also these other circles from Nostalgia Graphic again they're the same size but I was thinking this color would be better on this one so what I might do before I um with this one I'm thinking about it beforehand what I'm going to do is glue it to this that's what I'm going to do that way make sure I get glue everywhere you won't be able to see any white. And though this is on quite, you know, I think it's on 160 GSM cardstock. And then, of course, you can use these little envelope things that you make. Isn't that pretty? Um, you can use these little envelope things that you make um, also, um, you know, attach them to other envelopes and do the envelopey thing, you know, flippy things with envelopes. So you can treat them like the bought envelopes. You can even send them to people. So let me see here. That's about right. If I feel like I didn't get enough glue, you know, high enough, further up enough, I could um, I could also just add a bit of glue afterwards. See, I might feel like I need to add a bit more glue in there because it's not stuck down enough. So I'm just now that's a bit fiddly. I think I'll take it off. I need to come up a bit higher. Just try and eyeball that I glue it on where it was because this flap is a little bit shorter there we go so that's that one we'll let that one dry now what are we going to put on here I'll just cut this out So another interesting thing you could do is, I don't know if that really goes, if you had a rectangle, you could put a strip 
here and it can tuck under there. That's what you could also do. I don't think I like that on there. Don't like it on there. I'm not mad about that one actually, to be honest. It's not my colours. But anyway, you, you don't ever, ever um, turn your nose up at it because you'll find there will be a spot for it. There will be. So another another thing you could do is you could get the pretty um, the pretty paper and you could punch. Well, actually, let's glue it to. Let's cut out a square big enough like this, and then we'll glue it to this because it needs to be stronger. If it's going to be something that's going to um, hold the flap down, it does need to be stronger. Oh, I probably should wait till the glue dries, but we won't. We won't do that. We're just going to deal with it. That out. And this is going to be a little one. I probably cut way too big a square. There we go. That one. Can I get another one? I probably can. I would just get a little bit of book paper. Oh no, look. Look at that. Two. There we go. Can I get three? No, that's pushing my luck. Okay. So you can make these little squares. You can mass make those as well. Little squares, little circles. And then you just put a little one there. I don't know if this paper really goes. Put that there. Like that. I don't know if it goes there. And that's too small for that one. Can I put it on that one? So, yes, I think I will. So you can just use a decorative paper. And I haven't decorated any of these. I don't know. They're, I think the papers are quite pretty. They don't necessarily need to be um, decorated. That will go there. I don't think it's quite in the centre, but it doesn't matter. There's another one. So just to give you an idea, and I'll think, I don't want to put that one on there. It doesn't go. I'll find something else to go on there. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Maybe one of these in these colours. Maybe the star. Where's, where's my scissors? There they are. No. Oh, I think I like that one on there. Putting it on there. Okay, so let's glue it to this. And I'll find something else for the other one. Okay, and I'm going to put my glue on there, and I think I really like that. And now, which way is my... I've just got to make sure, if you've got a direction on your circle, you want to make sure you put your glue on the correct bottom bit. Cute. Really cute. And then here, if you wanted to, you could put like a, um, I don't know if I've got any, like a label or something. If you wanted to. Oh, I do. I've got one. I don't know if I want to put it, but we'll have a look. I think I used my other one. Probably a green label would be nice. And these little things would be lovely just to back. That's what I think I'll do. I'm going to back these and put them in the little envelopes, the little mini ones. I think they'd be really cute in those. Oh, I probably should. 
Oh no, I'm going to glue this down, aren't I? I'm not, it's not going to be anything that's floating. So I don't need to back it. Like that could go on there if you wanted to. It's pretty cute. Unless you're going to put it, I'm like I would refrain from doing anything like that, just so I can then have the choice of whether to make it a pocket. That is also a double pocket, really, because it's got, um, you know, it's a an envelope. Or is it going to be something that's floating that you're just going to clip to a page? So you have to decide, but I would leave that for now. And these are the kinds of things I would like to see in these little mini ones. Um, and in this one, you can put something bigger in. Something bigger will fit in there. So, yeah, really cute. So there we go. That's my video today. Not too long. Um, I'll try to remember. I might forget because there's a bit of a time lapse between when I um, upload the video and do the video. So that's that one not used to seeing such a little circle that needs to dry um, again you could stick a little Santa on there if you wanted to here comes that Merry Christmas again I don't mind it there okay and then this one here with the background paper and doily on the inside and then that there and again you could put something there if you want to I might do that I might go ahead and put something there here's the Merry Christmas again um, or not might be just cute to have it that way and then this one I haven't done anything with yet, with yet. but again I'm going to put in those little um, saints so there you go so I hope you enjoyed that super easy peasy and I will see you again tomorrow have a great day bye okay so I'm back I just wanted to show you I did really have so much fun making those little envelopes that I made a whole lot more. I can't remember which ones I made in the video. I think I made this one. Anyway, I've made more. And uh, I'll just show you. I've, I've even filled them already. Each one has a little um, something in it. So there's that one. Uh, this one has... That, <laughs> love that. I really love that. Oh, it's in French. No. Yes, it's in French, that one. Love that. So that's that one. I think I made that one in the video, that one. I have to put them aside so I can um, so I can um, photograph them. So that's um, that one, and I put that little... I put the paper on upside down. I, don't, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I put that from one of my digis in there, and that's just... Uh, that was in my Christmas pack last year. I made this one... Off, off video with some Florentine paper and put a little saint in there and then this is also from a it's an embossed um, craft paper it was a wrapping paper that I got from a wholesaler last year and I put a little I just had this printed up so it's a good way to put those little things in there that you haven't used yet uh, now with this one what I did was I um, I put the tracing paper on the book page love that I'm going to do more of that really love the way that looks and so I just put that little card in I don't remember where I got these from I really don't remember who and I printed them on cream cardstock and I do like look that's another one I did on the um, on the the tracing paper on the book page and then that's from nostalgia graphic land and I don't remember where they come from I've had those for quite a few years. That's the um, tree wrapping paper again, the craft wrapping paper, and a little journaling card in there. So I made quite a lot. I felt like finally I'm getting something done. So the Florentine paper, did I make this one in the video or that one? I don't know. Um, and then there's a little um, Artie Mays little journaling card in there. And then I made this one and I put a little saint in there. I love that. And then I think I did this one in the video. Uh, with these little circles, just be careful because it's very easy to stick them down. This is from um, Dreams, etc. And I've just put some of that. Um, I changed the colour of the tea dyed paper. I think I did this one in the video. And this was a piece of um, one of my papers that I had left over. And I made it into a, a journaling card. I've glued them down really well, so I don't think I'll stitch around them. I think I'll leave them as they are. And then I think I did this one in the video. 
and I just put I put this one in reverse I thought maybe you'd be able to see it but you can't really see it that well um, I just put this little card in there so I guess I could put it in that way and they fit perfectly these little things so put that in there and then I did this one off video I know um, and that's the embossed wrapping paper and that's from my digital kit and I've just put some of the um, pink coffee dyed paper so there you have it. It's really, really, really fun. I couldn't stop and I thought, well, I might as well get them done. I made three bigger ones and all the rest were the smaller ones. But I think they're such a cute size. Really cute thing just to tuck in or, you know, put it over the edge of a page. No, no, don't put it over the edge. Yeah, put it on a page and clip it or I just think they're so cute. They're so fun to hold. And that's totally inspired by this one I bought with my sis. And this has got a beautiful piece of... Um, sort of textural cardstock in there. So I guess it's like to write a thank you card, but I think they're so cute. That's lovely paper. I've never found that one. If I find that one, I'll be offering it, but I've never found it. Um, and then, oh, yeah, I love that. So they're very, very cute. Really, really like them. Anyway, I'm going to leave them open because the little cards inside them are drying as well. Um, of course, I'm very impatient. Can't wait. So I made a whole lot there. Look at that. And, and it's only been an hour since I stopped the video. Yeah, not even an hour. And I even made a coffee in between. So um, they're pretty fast to make. And I even did the inside. Some of them I had to, to back. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that. I just thought I'd show you straight away. I'll at attach it to the end. And of course, as I said, you can decorate here. But I'm going to leave it um, because I want to see if I want to stick them down. I'm not going to decorate these ones because they're small. And I think the papers are beautiful. So... I feel like they're kind of decorated on the front with the circle. Again, as I said, if, they, if you've got little inch squares or whatever or, or these sorts of little things, um, you can use those. They're great. And I like these with the circles. And as the big circles, I really like the big circles. I think the big circles are better than the small circles. So there you go. I'll stop wasting your time. And I hope you have a great day. And I will see you again soon. Bye.